Okie dokie. Man alive. What's happening, girlfriend? <laughs> Let's be perfectly honest here, okay? Let's be really honest here. Um, you ever heard of the old story about the emperor has no clothes? Um, at least kids in America kind of grew up with that. Uh, I don't know if that was an Aesop. No, it was not an Aesop's fable. It was uh, Hans Christian Andersen tale, wasn't it? Someone's going to correct me because I can't remember who made the story. This is about the king who was uh, tricked into buying the finest uh, suit of clothes, except, you know, the tailor was holding them up and he wasn't holding up anything. They were invisible, but he didn't want to look stupid. He's like, yeah, that's some really fine threads. And, you know, the king walks through the town and um, everybody's afraid to, like, tell the king that he's stark naked and his, uh, his, uh, his hot dog and his sausages are hanging out. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's wonderful, but there's a little punk-ass kid in the crowd who <laughs> <laughs> screams out that the emperor is uh, wearing no clothes. Yeah. Let's, let's be truthful. If you actually get a large enough group in any particular sector, whether that be like uh, speedboats or baseball or, you know, whatever the category is, something, somebody uh, special, there are people like specialize in laptops. And then there's this one, inevitably, there'll be like 30 channels on YouTube talking about laptops, whether it be MacBooks or Windows machines or both. And then there'll be one dude that pops up at uh, Manifest, and he's like the snarky asshole that uh, has like been repairing laptops for, you know, 20 years, and he doesn't give a crap what anybody thinks. And then he starts telling you, you know, this is the stuff you should buy because boom, boom, boom. And uh, everybody hates him. But you know he's not trying to shaft you. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Has no affiliate list. I am, I am, whether you like me or not. And uh, I know I'm a bit strange. Like Uncle Fester, right? Uncle Fester photography. I am the inevitable outcome of... Uh, all of these YouTube channels manifesting and blowing smoke up your ass and posting affiliate links, shilling for a company, slanting reviews, and what a lot of these people do. Now, if I, t if I borrow a camera, like the latest Sony camera, I borrowed that. I mean, there's just no denying. I didn't buy that camera because I'm too smart to buy a Sony a7 III. I mean, there's no way in hell I'm going to buy that thing. There's just not. I told people I borrowed it, but everything else I buy with my own money. Um, they give you honest reviews on it. I've been fixing cameras and lenses for ages. Um, even the people that hate me online, they say, I hate that guy, but when he says a lens is awesome, I usually buy it because he's right. I've seen that like <laughs> no less than a hundred times. I hate that guy, but he recommended a lens and I bought it and it's really awesome. <laughs> I am the, like the little punk-ass kid that's screaming out that the emperor has no clothes. I am the inevitability. It's just like, it's almost like an algorithm that you could write. If you pick one category of something, people that review cars, okay? Uh, inevitably on YouTube, eventually there'll be this manifestation of a YouTube channel where like some, uh, some, gritty, sh some gritty dude that's like been fixing cars for 20 years. Like, that's a piece of crap. You know, that new car came out, I took it apart, piece of crap. Or, you know, so-and-so car is really good. And, uh, you know, he'll appreciate, you know, dropping him a buck or two, but he's not going to shill or pimp. And he's not going to blow smoke up your ass. He's uh, generally coarse. And a lot of people don't like him, but they also know that he's not trying to you know, pick your pocket while he's smiling to your face. You know what I'm talking about? People, hi, how are you doing? They're reaching, reaching behind your, you know, just to pick your pocket. Um, I am that person, you know. Um, so it's just an inevitable outcome. There are really only three people in this world. And I don't care if you believe this or not. You see, that's the wonderful thing about being free. Since I don't work for anybody, I work for myself, and I'm not a corporate schmuck or stooge, and I'm not a corporate douche and I'm not affiliate linked with anybody, I can say stuff like this. Because um, people are so sensitive to today. Sensitive today. Everybody's a thin-skinned douche. I really hate to say that, but it's true. There are three people in the world. Sheeps, wolves, and sheepdogs. Think about that for a second. You can type that in. There's three types of people in the world. Sheep, bah, 
There's wolves that are trying to prey on the sheep, and then there's the sheep dogs. They're like, this crap isn't right, I'm going to stop this. Or at least do their best to stop it. Um, I'm definitely not a wolf. I, I'm definitely not a sheep. I don't know if I really qualify as a sheep dog, but uh, I don't like people getting screwed over. And I'm not trying to screw anybody else over. You know? I've seen enough crap in life. I, I go to sleep pretty soundly, other than headaches and PTSD and stress and worry, you know. Because, like, my dead wife left me with a half million dollars in medical debt. But that's my problem. But as far as, you know, some people just don't have a conscience, actually. And I've met a lot of people like that. You know, they just eagerly screw people over and they sleep really soundly. There's, like, a lot of people on death row that are, like, axe murderers. And they sleep soundly at night, too. It's because they're animals. They're humans, but actually, they're animals. Um, I sleep soundly at night. I mean, I actually have a conscience. I don't want to screw anybody over. Um, so, thankfully and proudly, I'm the only person with no affiliate links. I'm not selling a single thing to anybody because a lot of people say, Hey, you got like five of those. Why don't you sell me one? Like, no, I'm not going to sell anything. Why not? I even have some people try to trick me. They'll call me up on the phone. I'm like, who the hell is this? And you're like, oh, I want you to fix this. You know, I'll pay you a bunch of money. I'm like, no. I know. I not only have not, don't have the time for that, but I don't, I don't sell anything. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay you a bunch of money. Uh, here's something else. This is so true. There's no way I can make this up. I've uh, reviewed these adapters, these K and F adapters, and uh, I've bought like, geez, I maybe I bought like a dozen of them. And uh, the company's like, oh my god, you've really done some good stuff for us. We've got a special uh, link for you, where we're gonna pay you back. And you, you, I posted like two or three videos on these K and F adapters. The company said. Um, put this link in those two videos that you did, and they linked my videos. And I said, I've already got a link in there. It's like, no, this is a special link. It helps us do two things. It helps us keep track of uh, sales generated by you from people watching your video on our adapters. And number two, we're, uh, you know, we'll give you a reimbursement, a percentage of reimbursement of... Uh, the sales of these adapters and I said no I'm not gonna why we we want to keep track of those well, they said in the return email to me and I said no I'm, no I'm not gonna do it no I mean I posted the link to your adapters and your website I said no just put in the link they said you know we want to keep track of it you know because you're we noticed a big spike in these adapters like we instantly sold out of uh, one adapters like a Fuji mount to a, a, a Nikon mount to a Fuji X mount adapter and I said, no. I said, I'm, I'm not going to post an affiliate. I've told people I'm not going to. No, okay. So that's, that was actually a real email exchange that occurred between me and this company. I still love their adapters, I mean, but I pay for all of them myself. And uh, I'm not going to put up an affiliate link uh, to their adapters. There's another YouTube channel that like trolled my live stream two weeks ago. And actually, this pisses me off. Uh, I didn't even see it at the time until two other people told me. The reason I didn't see it is because in live stream stuff rolls like this. And it's like, shit, you can't keep up with it all. Two people told me, it's like, they were making fun of your lecture on magnetism out in Idaho and your book on magnetism, which I don't care if people insult me. That's fine. They said that it was uh, like a scam or something. I was like, really? They actually said that? I was like, yeah. These two other people told me. I said, did they really, really say that? Said, yeah. They said, your book and your lecture is a scam. So this other big YouTube channel trolled my live stream. And by the way, I never go in anybody else's live stream. I don't. It's like, oh my God, that's so boring. I was like, girlfriend, listen up. My book is free, 100%. And I'm not even being paid for the lecture in Idaho that I'm giving on uh, the 5th of July. I'm not being paid anything. They did pay for my plane ticket and my motel, but I've had to buy all sorts of stuff, even a new button-down shirt so I could look professional, blah, 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 you know, button-down shirt. I've actually had to spend some of my own. I'm not even getting paid for the damn lecture. And someone says I'm scamming people? To those people that said that my, now I don't care if they hate my book or, you know, they think, you know, they hate my theories on field theory. If anybody is accusing me of scamming somebody on a free book and a lecture I'm not getting paid for, I'm going to say you're a mental midget and a pissant. 
It's like, where the hell am I making money at it? You know, am I like running a cult here or something? No. Am I making money off my book or the lecture? No. I'm not getting any kickbacks from any part of it. It's a scam. My ass, it's a scam. If it were a scam, I'd be charging some money for it. Then it might, then it would be a scam. Maybe I'm going to scam these people. I'm going to charge them for this crap and like blow smoke up their butt. Then it would be a scam. As I say, while well, I sip on my burnt tasting coffee. You gonna accuse me of running a scam on a free book and a free lecture? Where the hell do you come off? Honestly, where the hell do you get off the train with that kind of crap? Seriously, free book. Now this is the same person who actually sells a lot of books. All of my books are free. I translate, I've got some Greek translations, some ancient Pali translation. Uh, one of the translations is the original Dalman Padana. It took me forever to translate that frigging text. That's a 3,000-year-old ancient dead language. It's just impossible to translate. That book is free as well. Stuff like that actually does piss me off. If you're going to accuse me of scamming somebody, you sure as hell better have the proof of that. That was a bit of a tangent. No, really, it wasn't a tangent. I was like, because I, I didn't see it at the time in the live stream until people told me later. It's like, you're accusing you of scam <laughs> scamming people on your free book. I was like, yeah, well, I like to know how the free book scam works. How's that work? Hey, I spent a lot of time writing this book. I'm still into the fourth edition of it. Yeah, tell me how that scam works. The book is free. I love to know how that scam works. But I am the inevitable outcome of all these people trying to blow smoke up your ass, you know, pickpocket your wallet. Um, I also get uh, uh, derided a lot for um, uh, asking for a donation. Uh, I, let me tell you what, girlfriend, I love saying that because it makes people laugh. There is nothing on this earth more honest than like a dude on the street like playing a guitar or a flute or, you know, he has a magic dog that does backflips or something. He has a hat out with like some quarters and a dollar bill in it. That is the most honest thing on this earth. This is honest as prostitution. Like, hey, hey, not that I've ever had a prostitute. <laughs> a prostitute says, hey, it'll be a hundred dollars. It's like... You may hate prostitution, but at least she's honest. You know, it's like there's a service performed. That's honesty. You know, when someone wears a suit and a tie and they lie to you and they blow smoke up your butt while they're trying to pick your pocket, that is dishonesty. Or someone, here's a lot of dishonesty on these YouTube photography channels. They will rent a camera for a week or two. They'll, they'll screw around with it for a few days to get used to it. And then they'll play with it. They'll make a video. It's like, this camera's great. Click the link below. You can own one like me. There's a... I'm not going to tell you who, and I'm not even going to give you a hint to, but there's a person that does a lot of lens reviews online, on YouTube, and they talk like they bought the lens. They even say, I bought this lens. And I know the person that they get the lenses from, and I know for 100% undeniable fact, no hearsay, no rumor, that they don't buy those lenses at all. They borrow them for a little while and then they, whoosh, they return them back. Yeah. There's been a few people that have been over to my house and I said, look in the two back rooms. I just, and the first thing they say is, geez, you really do own all those lenses. <laughs> There's dozens and dozens and dozens of Pelican cases full of lenses. Hundreds and hundreds of lenses. So, yeah. Let me know again what sort of scam it is that I'm running. Let me know how that works. Because if I were running one, the first indication that you would have is that I would be making a video like this. and be like, hi, this is Ken from Switzerland or Denmark or Norway or Iceland. That is the first place I would be if I had like some disposable income. Actually, the first thing I would do is I would like fix some of the stuff in this house that needs fixing. Um... Oh, there's a lot of stuff on this house that needs fixing. I need a new washing machine. I'd be doing that first. But your next indication would be is you'll notice that I'm like in Europe. Somewhere in Switzerland or Denmark. You know. Maybe I should like do what everybody else does and just start scamming people. And then I can make a video 
every month from a different location like these other YouTube photography scammers are doing. Come with me to exotic Scandinavia. Pay, pay $3,000 to see me. <laughs> I couldn't even do that with a straight face, man. I couldn't even make a video saying something like that. I wouldn't want to meet me either. Just be honest for God's sakes, huh? You know? I'm not I'm not running some sort of like you know? What the hell is it that I'm selling? Mm, what is it that I'm selling? I would love to know that. Yeah, this was a rant video. This was not really a rant video because I love when people, too, they tell me, you got angry in that video. It's like, oh, you've never seen me angry. You've not seen me angry. It's like, you were angry in that video, and I laughed so hard. It's like, you thought that was anger? <laughs> no. No, that was not anger. No, that was righteous indignation. That didn't even reach the level of stage one anger. Peace out, Girl Scout. If you like these videos, you can always drop me a buck or two or tell me to jump off a cliff. The link is below. Whatever makes you happy. Tell me to slide naked down a razor blade pole into a vat of lemon juice. Whatever turns you on. Whatever tickles your pickle. Whatever pets your... No, I better not say that. <laughs> Goodbye.